Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ninegale. So today's episode we're going to venture into the forests with the Antiquarium Realm. Uh, I built all the stuff in between videos and got everything crafted so I could make the card at the uh, Simple Enchantress Focus Station. So let's make our Antiquarium. We need paper, ink, and then essence. Once that gets crafted, we'll make the uh, forest card and then we'll move on to heading over to the portal. Alright, as that's done, we'll make our forest card. Those are done. Make sure we actually have those in our inventory so we don't run all the way down there and realize that we don't. So we got the antiquarian card and then we also have the forest card right there. All right, let's uh, head on out then. Our portal is all the way over here, so we need to just take a direct shot about this way. I'll switch over to the knife so I can, you know, dash my way over there. Almost fell far enough to break my leg. That wouldn't have been good. <laughs> now, hopefully, we're making like a stamina valve like later on. Still heading the right way. Yes, I am. A little diverging here should help us out. Pull our umbrella here. I think my game just crashed. Oh no, my game didn't crash. Woohoo! That almost broke my leg doing that twice. Uh, redirect this way towards the wolf. So we're probably going to have to fight these wolves, which brings some wolf pelts into the next area might not be such a bad idea. But I'm not sure if I can actually come back here, even though I spent quite a bit of time uh, building like, a little refuge here. Or if this is just like a tutorial area for starting things up here. That's all done. Pick up some berries while we're here. Is that another wolf pack in front of me? Sure as hell looks like it. I am surprised I actually got him. I say, who are you attacking, guys? Are you attacking the pigs? Are you attacking me? Looks like the pigs are giving me a helping hand, though. Okay, I guess I can't just let Clifford deal with you since they're ping ponging me around here. Me? 
maybe, or whatever the hell rank that is, I guess. I wonder how good the AI is when they use guns. They might be able to wreck shop. Or they might just get murdered trying to fire into the ground or something like that. We all need all the bones, all the fur. Because I can dismantle it for uh, essence. So it's not bad to pick up everything in this game from how I've been seeing things. Uh, wood bundles, we can extract that, get our 10 essence. And then we got plenty of hide pelts. Uh, here are the bones because they weigh quite a bit. That brings us down to 91 pounds. Now let's extract the bees while we're at it too. Alright, that got us to where we needed to go. And then back south? Yeah, directly south. Oh, there's like a there's just random stuff every now and then out in the wilderness, it seems like. Which is pretty interesting. It keeps the world alive. But we got our card, so let's move on to the uh forest aquarium realm. Get the forest. What's the aquarium's even subtext? Play this card to seek a realm of middling danger, settled by druids and rife with fey runes. It is believed that long ago the Fey favored antiquarian realms. Traces of their mischief and guile linger in the puzzling runes left behind, which far per surpass human ingenuity. Uh, faction present the druids. Let's open the portal. Oh yeah, we gotta defend ourselves, that's right. Here they come. Oh, I can pelt them while they're mid summon. Can I dirt Clifford? Enough or is it? No, it's still forming. I thought he was running away for a second. I guess not. Looks like he killed the last one. Pick up their drops. Let's uh, head into our aquarium realm. Our antiquarium realm. That's the word I'm looking for there. Talk to Aurelio Agaveto Ortega. The archway spark sparking to life, rousing the dread in the weary head. Glad it was only you who stepped out. Hold a minute, I recognize that dangling chain from miles away. A Realmwalker pocket watch? You carry their hermetic guidebook too? But well, you're no member of the Explorers League. They're of no use to their former owner. They were part purloined off a of corpse. I was given these tools. I technically was given these tools by the Fae. I suppose you say the same even if you weren't. Now, admittedly, I wouldn't know Quartermain's newest geo arcane recruits, but I can see it in the dark of your eyes. You're an infant in these realms, a refuge fleeing the pale, I'd hazard. Hmm, yes. I suppose we're all realm walkers now. Aurelio 
Ecovedo Ortega is the name, ambassador explorer by title and 30 year realm walker by trade. While I'm resting my trotters, I've been told to make it my duty to help the lost be found wherever you're heading. I may indeed require that aid. I imagine so, though I find myself in the realms by choice, it seems the recent influx of visitors did not wish for the explorer of life. Explorers, what have you been doing in the realms for 30 years? Forgive my arrogance, what exactly are the realms? So we're way back to Earth, I'm making course for Nightingale. Always go on the class signs for these ones. You're fortunate the city will breathe at all. However, with the portal network dismantled, your path to the city of magic is a labyrinth of connections with no map. I cannot get you there, but I have a colleague, shall we say, whose mission matches your own, Nellie Bly. I know little about her concrete plans, but she was working with Quartermain attempt to find a haven for those who've been stranded in the realms. Nine Gale Shirley is their destination. Quartermain, the name seems familiar. Nelly is the explorer too. You don't seem very concerned about the world ending. You know how I can reach Nelly then? Uh, you know how I can reach Nelly then? I know where she is, but if Nellie learned that I sent an unprepared survivor on a perilous jaunt to find her, she'd grind my brain into sausage. And yet I'm also not one for hand-holding. Call me a bygone Asterius, but, or Osterius, Asterius, I don't know. But it wasn't e always so easy to earn the Realm Walker title. To prove you're up to the task, let's say you in a series of trials, series of three trials. The very same I underwent to obtain my uh, Geo Arcane memberships. Don't feel like I've got much choice. I suppose I can give it a try. You better find more confidence in your stride. The first trial is about assessing your surroundings. There are all manners of Fey runes in this realms, and uh, there are runes, there are secrets. The Fey hide valuable essences in their architecture, something to do with clauses and contracts. Realm walkers were oft hired to extract these materials, so explore these sites and return when you hold essences in hand. Uh, we got rune essences. It's enough to get my head spinning. I admit I'm treading up near my neck. Whatever it takes to be a realm walker. Uh, we'll do the I admit I'm treading up my neck. From raw experience comes knowledge. When your trial is complete, I shall be here. Right then, Essence. Off you go. Show me what you're made of. Wear those boots well and to hell with cowardice. Glad I've said it better. Okay, so we need to acquire Tier 1 Essence, which we have 23 out of 25 of those. So I'm guessing I have to go find a structure. Maybe go to these Fey Artifacts. Uh, what we got for essences here? Yeah, we got 23 here. Can be exchanged for tier 1 recipes at Essence Traders. Okay, looks like we don't have exact destination for that. But I guess we'll head to our, uh, southeast? Yeah, southeast and see if this artifact gives us enough essence for what we need to do here. Good thing I brought some food too. Uh, before we get going, my knife's almost broken, so let's repair that. Because it doesn't look like I'll have any place to actually eat when I go through things. Oh, there's a new deer in here. I feel like I need a claymore. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I should have bought more stuff at the merchant last place. But we'll just go through the motions and buy stuff as we come across them. Seems like as long as I dodge, I'm pretty good state. Just back up and attacking so far. That is too much of a threat. Biggest threat is just running out of so much stamina so damn fast. You 
So you don't get arcane essence from killing things by the looks of it. You must only get it from uh, completing these uh, little dungeon quests. The way he was saying, the way he was talking, made it definitely seem like that. Uh, slight healing potion. Oh, we do have stamina potions. Take all. Let's throw a stamina potion. Right there. Okay. That way I can recover my stamina on the fly. Before I pick up this lore, am I safe to read it? Puzzle cone. Puzzle core. Oh no, we got T1 essence. As we play these dungeons, gets us that T1 stuff, it looks like. Uh, I need to head northwest. My legs didn't break. Let's sure to do our hunting knives so that we can uh, do our good little dash. A little too far there. Returning again to seek a bit of realm walking wisdom, are you? I've completed your first trial. Ah, that explains you marching up like a pea fowl. Have you plundered essence from the Fey runes? Uh, I have, though not without trouble. I retrieved what I could, but I have no idea what it is. The essence junk seems to be in worthless as dung. Oh, we'll go with the I have. It is called a trial for a reason. As part of your reward, I've given you final essential realm walker tools, a red cross surveying spyglass for scouting threats among the wilds. I have found memories of my first spyglass as a boy. Handle yours with care and let it bring near that which hides afar. As for those essences, could you feel the radiant energy resonating from them? Let's hope so, for they will become vital in your second trial if you're ready. I'm ready for my next trial. The second trial is a truer test. The objective is to match survival prowess with your penchant for exploration. Rail diving is a way of the walker, after all. You'd best have your realm cards at the ready. History is in our hands. You haven't told me what the trial is. This trial, unlike the last, requires some preparations. It entails a touch more danger, and you'll need to be well equipped. You'll need to improve one of your tools by crafting upgrades and infusions made of essences and a bit of dust. A fine use of what you scrounged up in your last excursion. Then comes the trial proper. Will tools in hand seek out a fey tower or underground sanctum? At the culmination of any such construct, you'll find an artifact of great value. Claim it and return to here. Should these wilds wear you in the inter interim, seek respite before pressing on. No exploration necessary. Simon understood. Remember these phase sites have long been abandoned by their architects, but they are not without plentiful dangers and oddities. If you decide to brave a tower, you'd be remiss not to experiment with the fascinating prowess of a realmic transmuter. Take this minor card and see it for yourself. I'll be back once the trial is complete. I leave you with the geo Arcan idiom to ponder. Truths reveal themselves in those who walk with curious eyes. I shall ponder it so. So we need to purchase... Wait, unlock the simple spinning wheel. I have to buy the simple spinning wheel again? Okay, where's our merchant at then? That's the Fey Tower. I get a dog location on there. I'm not seeing my merchant though. Purchase a refinement station. Oh, what am I weighing? What am I getting weighed down by? 
Or can I just make this actually? Unlock simple spinning wheel. I don't have a spinning wheel. Well, that sucks. Spyglass 10, one of the most, uh, so I guess let's equip it to our hoe because I'm not really sure what the hoe's for. Okay, then right click to aim, left click to zoom in. What does F do? F doesn't do anything. V. I'm guessing it places a waypoint. Yeah, V places a waypoint when you do this. And that tin weighed me down, so let's uh let's extract this essence real quick. And I guess we need to roam around and find ourselves a merchant somewhere on this island. Oh no, Essence Trader to our south, by the looks of it. So let's, uh, let's start heading south here. I'll make a cut here and we'll uh, be at the Essence Trader. Then we'll be back. Alright, and we're uh, here at our merchant. So I gotta buy the simple spinning wheel. So, yeah, it looks like I should just probably buy quite a few stuff. Oh, we're starting to get into the next price of things. Uh, but we need basic crafting, I'm assuming. No crafting ret refinement, it looks like. So we need to buy ourselves a simple spinning wheel. Okay, then we need to craft an uncommon upgrade. So, simple spinning wheel, simple spinning wheel, you are... So we need fiber, wood bundles, and bones. I have all that. Uh, we'll just make you right here next to our merchant. Alright, now we have that, we need to uh, upgrade a common item. Um, upgrade an item quality. So I made the simple spinning wheel. Uh, do I hold E on it? Okay, let's, uh, I guess let's throw one of these up. Oh, no, I need twine, and then I can make one of these, it looks like. So we'll probably add this heart uh, modification to our knife here once this uh, refined fiber is done. Okay, then I need to make twine for our upgrades here. Uh, plant fiber. Make two of these. You know, I'm glad I don't have to, like, play any animation for crafting stuff, but I, I think it would be cool to play an animation for crafting stuff, too. Uh, while we wait for that, though, we have almost a thousand stuff. Maybe we should make some. I don't really want to use any of my blue currency right now, just in case. So we make crude advanced roofs, and we got our refinement thing here. Uh, we might as well buy the masonry bench, since we don't own that. We own all that, and we can just buy resources from him. Okay, that's done now. 
And now let's make, uh, I guess, the hand, since I don't have twine. Uh, we'll do we'll do a ten ingot since I have a ten ingot. I wonder what the wick is for. It requires two twine to make. Unless that's why I used to make candles. It makes sense if that's why I used to make candles. Wait for this to get done, and then, uh... I think we'll be able to use this to upgrade one of our weapons, I would guess. Is that's how that would work. Got that. How does one use this though? Uh, that's the twine. That's the charm twine. Do I? No, it's not that. Uh, can repair. Craft uncommon upgrade. You wanted me to buy the spinning wheel. I assumed that was for the uncommon upgrade. Do I have to make something else to actually upgrade my stuff, though? Or is it a simple upgrade bench I have to make? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, inspect, please. Let's destroy this real quick and uh, head back for what we are. Head back to the main guy. Wait, can I just hit X and then dismantle it? Oh, I can. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I should have built a refinement stone next to this guy. But we got what we came for. Maybe he has a upgrade station next to him. If he doesn't, it'd probably be good to start building my house there. So I'll uh, make a cut here and we'll be back over there. Okay, so I acquired some resources, built a little quick camp setup, and then got the upgrade bench build, which I believe, which is what you need to up actually upgrade weapons. So, I get that I wanted me to get the spinning wheel to be able to make the bench, but it should have also gave me a quest sign to make the upgrade bench, so I knew what I was doing. Anyway, we figured it out. So, you can upgrade your equipment at the upgrade bench using uh, benches using corresponding tiered essences. Upgrading equipment will increase the attribution of the equipment based on the current attribute. Now I think we can make our uncommon equipment. And we've been working with our knife pretty well, so we'll do that. Oh, so I didn't even need to craft that one stuff to be able to do this. So our knife got upgraded to uncommon, then got removed from the list by the looks of it. Alright, so next I need to apply an infusion to an uncommon item. So I have random infusions, so that's good already. Our knife doubled in power up to 40? Holy crap! That's a big bump. And then how do I apply an infusion? Craft infusions. Um, I have all this right here. I'm guessing to infuse something I have to craft another bench that it's not telling me about. My bet would be the... Uh, not the masonry, not the spinning wheel. Remember, it's a little vague if it might be the Enchanter Focus. Uh, 
it might be the enchanter focus. Oh, these are the rewards that I get for doing this. Uh, but I complete all the finds, craft infusion. So I need a, I need a craft infusion, which I do think is making the enchanter focus. Uh, apply enchantments to equipment. Yep. So we need to make one of these real quick as well. You know, I have enchantments. I need to do this to make one. So I'll need one more lumber. Your wood back real quick. Autofill, one. That's all I need. Drop the wood back in here. And then I also need to make glass, which I think to, in order to make glass, I need a mason uh, thing built for us. So we need to go into refinement probably, and then I think it was a simple smelter that I needed to make it. Alright, that's done. Throw the logs in there. Uh, I need four stone bricks. Do you have stone bricks on you, sir? No, you don't. So, a little bit more mining I do. I think that was only three. I did have like one of the ghost deer come by and it knocked down a bunch of trees for me. Oh, it looks like it also broke some rocks. Alright, that should give me enough to make what I need here. Alright, that's done. Uh, not the fire source right now. Yes, this is what you need to make glass. I need gems to make glass. There was quartz up here on the uh, till side that I remember right, or by the water area. So we'll uh, quickly sprint over there. Ooh, actually, looks like I'm almost passed out here. So we actually need to make ourselves a bed real quick. I need some more sticks. Purple trees, here I come. I think, the, yeah, those ones are all giving me fiber. So I'm at four sticks. Five sticks. Six sticks. It's getting nighttime, and I'm almost about to pass out from the looks of it. Two short uh, rests right there. Eat our food, get ourselves back to, up to full health. And then head over to the water area and see if we can find some crystals here, which it looks like it's towards our east. I've been seeing them mainly spawn near water sources for the uh, quartz, which you need to make glass. So we'll sprint on over there because I think I saw like a whole cluster of it when I was going to gather a uh, going to that merchant. Oh, yep, there it is. I see it down there on the center rock. seem like you get as much as you think getting out of it. Uh, that's 10 ore, so that's not what I'm looking for. Alright, rock. We'll get more crystals just in case so I don't have to run back for them. Alright, that's, uh... Alright, 12? 14. Yeah, four, 14 should do us enough. We we're heading east to get to where we are. Now we need to head west. My little home symbol's there, so that's actually why am I wasting time doing that? Travel to respite. Are you sure you want to travel to your rest? 
Oh, that takes me to the respite realm, not to like my little house thing here. Uh, wait, travel to respite, we'll travel here from... I didn't just accidentally delete my old house, did I? I really hope I didn't. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have built a second one here. I just wanted to use it as like a fast travel point. Apparently I killed a rabbit. Didn't even see that there. Hopefully I didn't just screw myself out of uh, the little base I built. Oh, look, more crystals. Kind of suck if I did, which, you know, we're here. Did I accidentally just clear this place out without even realizing it? Because I got a little too close. I think I might have accidentally cleared this place out. I did. Yeah, hopefully this wasn't... Hopefully I didn't just create a new respite by accident. And delete my old one that I worked on. Because that's going to suck if I accidentally did. Which, holding this... Create respite point. I don't want to create a respite point. I want to remove this one. Since we don't actually need it. Alright, with that done, I got the stuff I need to make glass. We need to manage fuel, though. Firm because I'm not sure how I split it yet. I guess I can just take it back out when we're all, all done with it. Let's make seven just in case. It'll weigh less and I don't really need it for anything else that I'm trying to make right now. And we only need five glass in total, so having two extra on hand is not the worst idea. But we'll let this craft a little, real quick. And this will be part two of the trial. We're sitting at 38 minutes for this video. So we're we're working pretty pretty on schedule here, I think. Do that, glass in. Uh, I don't want realm cards. I want this. Uh, requires essence. Okay. Our, what is recovery? That requires a weak human seal. But I need a craft and infusion, so our 30 essence, craft. Not taking as long as I thought it would. Okay, so now we need to apply the infusion. Um, do I use the upgrade bench to apply an infusion? Doesn't look like it. No available item to apply infusion. Do I have to take it out of my inventory maybe? No. How do I... I mean, it's green. Oh, I can apply this one to that one. Okay, that was weird. Uh, apply synchronous lotus? What is it? What is a synchronous lotus? I'm 
I'm so confused. Apply the synchronous lotus. What is this? Guidebook. There's no other refinement things to grab here. There's nothing I can really use to upgrade. Unless it's a, a s no, because a simple workbench just lets me make stuff. Acquire Synchronous Lotus. What the hell is a Synchronous Lotus game? Wait, I can just open these shops anywhere? I don't actually need to go chase down people? What? That would have been a cool tip to know game. I thought I had to chase down everybody. How to play, maybe? I, I don't know what a synchronous lotus is, and the game's not really giving me a hint for this. I'm gonna make a cut here so I can figure out where the synchronous lotus is, so I'm not just you guys aren't waiting for me for like 45 minutes to figure out where the hell this thing is. So we'll be back when I figured it out. Okay. Uh I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I had to look it up because I couldn't find it. The synchronous lotus is apparently inside the Fey architecture up here. Which, you know, I guess if I looked at the map, which the game did not tell me and scrolled up there, I would see it. But, uh, yeah, we gotta go up to the Fey Tower, so let's, uh, head our butts on up there right now. So, next time, when a quest asks me to, you know, find something or do something, I guess I'll just highlight over all the, uh, icons on the map, so I know for future references. It annoys me that the game wasn't helping me out there. But you know, what the hell, it's not like there's an NPC there to tell me. If you can tell, I'm a bit peeved about this, but... Oh, what can you do? Early access. Maybe, uh... Later on, there'll be some hints for us. statue over there. I don't really want to fight you guys. I want to continue on with the quest that I'm looking forward to doing. I just gotta find the entrance to this building. This is the right building, right? I do wonder why there was a wolf around here. It seems weird that there'd be a big wolf symbol. Hey, bomb guy, you go for- Oh, we're doing 88 damage now? That's twice the damage. That's not even with a crit. Well, I guess that was with a backstab crit. Oh, 
stamina potion. But yeah, I... Another thing, I really hope I didn't screw my over by building that respite. I was just gonna use it as a travel point, but I guess not. I'll release that since bundle. Doesn't look like I can do anything there. I guess we'll head upstairs more. Or am I like supposed to shoot these from a distance? No, I'm not supposed to shoot them from a distance. They just freak out when you get close to them. All right, then let's uh, head upstairs then. I wonder if that wolf symbol that's roaming around the map is like a boss fight up here. So we had a boss fight when we went to the very first area. Oh, there's a big old deer trapped in there. Oh, jump platforms. Okay, it is where the umbrella comes in handy. Puzzles! Fun! Damn it. Okay, so... Jump up here. I landed right on top of that. Damn it. So we get up here. Okay. Okay, that worked. That worked. Okay, what did that... Okay, that opened that down there, but for how long? Yeah. For a pretty long time. Where's the essence funnel? Oh, we got tier one essence for that. Oh, I can play that puzzle nice and uh, tandedly. Now let's start fighting more of these guys. Now that I know I have some healing, healing potions. It makes it a bit easier because then I can just drink one and get all my stamina back. And continue on the fight. So I feel like uh, right now, as a melee fighter, until I can get some good range uh, offense, finding out how to craft a bunch of heal stamina potions is probably going to be my best bet. I only have one left. Let's save that for a boss, just in case there is one up here. Oh, there's a synchronized lotus chest, I guess. At least help Echo. Healing fusion and injury resistance. Oh, this is the realm they transfer that changes the world. But anyway, we got our synchronization lotus. Synchronization lotus is our fey relics which resonate with the energy of the realms. They are an invaluable resource for building magical structures such as portals and fairy rings. They can be obtained by exploring Fey Towers and Underground Fey Runes. That is a tip tutorial that should show up the moment you get this quest. Alright, we need to talk to our robot, but we're going to talk to Puck first, because Puck's back. What's this? Intrepid fleshling. Claiming bounty from atop the long-forgotten obelisks of fairer folk. Yet hast thou any inkling of what thou holdest cupped in mortal mitts? The synchronous lotus is no simple bauble, but a potent fey bijou, filled to bursting with a mere sliver of the realm's magic. It is the scavenged foundation upon which your kind so often builds their fanciful toys. Forget not that it was we who bestowed magic unto man. Without such generosity, what might the children of Earth have been reduced to? Though, even with my kin absent, there is great danger in plucking our pelf while foregoing reciprocity. 
What luck we two are, friends, that I may beteem this boon unto you. And since you now possess the means to power it, I have another gift to grant. One more of Robin's favors parceled. The means to construct a portal of one's own. In Aeon's past, portals were notoriously taxing and toilsome for humans to conceive and maintain. However, in the turmoil following the Calamity, I chanced upon a newfangled arch design that dares to make elementary what was once unattainable. You need only seek the materials required to raise this crude apparatus and place the lotus therein. Erecting it will create a contract with this realm's spirits to tame the interrealmic lacuna. Use it well, Realmwalker, that you may yet catch the flown nightingale. Oh. So I'm guessing you can craft portals to realms that you visited to return to those realms. And some of them automatically not being returnable to uh, when things come to sh when uh, you're done with an area. So you can make a portal into three biomes and just always return to them. Oh, there's like little mini games on the map. Interesting. This map really got a lot of stuff on it. Holy crap. Uh, before that, though, we're going to return to our quest taker, which is quest ready at the Fae Portal, which is to our south. Yeah, to our south. <coughs> Geronimo! My ankle is sprained, apparently. Let us fix that. I don't remember spraining my ankle. We'll turn part two. We'll turn trial part two and see what trial part three is. Hopefully, it's not too big of a one. We're sitting at about 53 minutes here. We're still not there. Why is there a dog symbol following me? I don't get it. Am I supposed to have like a dog or something? Or is there like a ghost dog chasing me? Okay, so I don't want to go down. Otherwise I'll have to go all the way back up. So we'll take this uh, roundabout here. I love dagger dashes. Okay, teleport twice there, sir, I guess. Let's see if standard for this fight that's about to happen. They won't leave me alone. Oh, these guys are up to 20 now. They got stronger. I guess the stronger they get, the higher uh, tier resources they'll start dropping. Also, he must be skinning these people because I gave him the knife and that's what he's got equipped right now. Which hopefully we can make actual weapons and not just uh, what we've been running with crafting wise. Like basic uh, hunting and gathering materials. But hey, Otega. Because your name is way too long. We speak. Returning again to seek a bit of realm walking wisdom, are you? I've completed your second trial. Ah, there it is. What I've been hoping to see in you all along. The flames of fortitude burning in those lost eyes. 
Did you feel galvanized as you faced down the phase ancient haunts? I nearly sullied my arm <laughs> undergarments in the process. I'd be lying to this, but I said I didn't. There's plenty to murder. So I'll do the lying thing. Haha, -ha, so it's possessed you already, the spine hunger. Well mid, we meet indeed. Alas, this mentorship comes to its close, for the route of gold beckons me once more. Oh, he's gone gold mad. While there won't be a ceremony, I congratulate you on holding cowardice at bay and completing your trials. I attest that most are not built for realm diving. Uh, we'll ask him why he searched for gold. My search is my life, and I search for El Rey D Dorado. And the lost city he presides over. Oh, he searched for a person. The old city of El Dorado, the city of gold. The written histories of the conquistadors would have you believe it little more than a legend, one soaked in blood. The musica texts which were thought to be lost say otherwise, that El Dorado was the true glory of their people. Spirit went into the realms to keep it safe from grabbing hands of avarice from men blighted with gold sickness. Why are you concerned with finding it? To see the promise that could have been or that still remains. To gaze upon a radiant country where gold's worth is not in its capital value, but in the ecstasy it delivers to the mind's eye. Because I am of two halves, destroyer and destroyer, the son of both worlds pulled to one side and trying to find solace in between. That or my quest simply lies in the intoxicating search for unknown haha. -ha. Uh, I'd like to ask something else. We're, we're we're running pretty long here on this episode. We can talk later. Is there a third trial? Ah, uh, yes, yes. However, the third trial, my friend, never ends. It persists for the rest of your days in these realms, where Fey Wilds are never mastered, never overcame. Come, now that I trust you not to perish at full sight of a Carnute, I will be a man of my word. The brash Miss Blyle awaits, and. So too does Nightingale. Where exactly is Nelly? Last we spoke, Nelly was in a desert herbarium realm. One where scorching dunes could char Lucifer himself. Only Nelly knows why she stationed herself amid such conditions. You should be able to access most of the requisite cards to reach Nelly's camp if you will it hard enough. All straightforward, yes? Is there no more trials? I'll be off. I caution you not to attempt reaching Nelly until survival is second nature. Deserts are notoriously unforgivable, but do as you will. Should you make it to Quartermain, send the old bastard my regards. I have a feeling he'll make a true walker of you yet. May the love of the unknown guide you. May our paths cross again. Oh, guys. Uh, so I need to craft a... Astrolab card, which, uh, no, this, this is the thing, so I need the Astrolab. Ha! Huh. I can't make an Astrolab card. So you got out the best over reason to travel to Desert Herbarium's realm. I can make a desert card. So we'll make a desert card and see if that's where I need to go for this quest. Open this portal, close the portal if you wish to apply realm cards. Uh, sure, let's reopen the portal. And then we'll go to the new one. For that, though, I'm taking all this with me. So we go to X and we just hold V to remove all the stuff. Oh, wrong button. Can 
I steal his stuff? I can steal his stuff, apparently. That's interesting that you can just steal his stuff. Yeah, I'll be overweight, but that's fine. I'll probably need this into the next area. Make it. Alright, we'll go back to our original realm and then we'll uh, call it there and I'll use the. Uh... Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll actually head into the desert realm. Make sure it's actually going there. So we're back to the main campsite. I should probably make this... Well, I can make portals now, actually. But a reset portal. Throw in the desert card. You need to play a biome and a major card. Oh, so I have to find the astrolab card. Okay. So yeah, this will be the end of this one until I can uh, discover an Ash Lab card. But it's nice I can just return to my, keep on returning to my base here. I don't have to go create a new one every time we go. But yeah, uh, oh that was a puck, that was Clifford. Uh, that'll enter for this one. So in between episodes, I'll find out how to make the Ash Lab card. I might just have to buy it. Get all that stuff ready for the portal and all that. Maybe build, craft, upgrade my character. Get ready for the desert. I might be doing a live stream for that part. And then create an episode for the uh, Ash Lab card on our next one. But anyway, again, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, later everybody.